preacher. Let me bring this a little closer to home. You cannot preach in here. Listen, there are folk in the church. They're still living in the past. You ought to run into this kind of folk. They're in the church and then sometimes they're the, they're the first ones that they jump up and say amen, but when you try to introduce a new initiative, there are a new program in the church. They're the first one that said, Pastor, we ain't never did it this way before. I come to find I ignore them. I don't even pay any attention to them anymore. Because I found out it made no sense trying to argue with them folk because they still stuck in the past. And if you're going to spend your time trying to convince them about what God's plan is for the future, you're going to spark time, and still you're going to find yourself in the past. God is futuristic. Those folk in the past, conversation is always focused on the past. They, 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 they're the ones who will get up in your face and say, I don't know why you changing this. And I don't know why you changing that because you are headed down the wrong road. I, 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 that's going to cost too much money. We're just moving too fast. Pat. Slow down. Then there, there are those who are not stuck in the past. Amen? Amen. Amen? They are the ones who are willing to make a sacrifice and do a new thing in ministry that will affect others in the future. 19th verse says, Behold, I will do a new thing. I will make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. In other words, road in the wilderness means that God has given every one of them an easy pass back to the promised land. Rivers and deserts mean a desolate place. He's going to give them some gator aid to refresh them on their journey along the way back home. Then there is an important result that comes out of this text. The verse says, the people I formed for myself, they shall declare my praise. The word praise in the Greek it's epinos, E-P-A-I-N-O-S, epinos. Uh -huh. It is a noun, and it denotes approbation, accommodation. Yeah. And in the New Testament, uh -huh. it's only ascribed to God in respect to his glory. Right. Now, I don't know about you, Hudson uh -huh. River, but I know every time I get up and call, on the name of Jesus, I get up to give him the glory. Do I have a witness? Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Do I have a witness? I'm talking about praising God. Somebody tonight is praising him because of his majestic power. Yeah. Do I have a witness? Yeah. The elders in the old church used to say, I, if I can't stand up, yeah. I'll sit down yeah. and wave my hand. Yeah. Do I have a witness? Yeah. And praise him yeah. anyhow. Yeah. Well, then long as I have breath, yeah. I don't want no rocks to be me praising God. I'm going to praise him anyhow. Somebody is here tonight because they woke up this morning with 
out of their back. God put food in the stomach. Do I have a witness? Somebody is here because they came tonight. Not out of curiosity, but they came to give the Lord the praise. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. to know whatever you do whatever you do do it in the power of God whatever you're going to be you got to be in the power of God whatever you're going to need you're going to need it in the power Don't you know? 